Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perking Reviews. Excuse me, so today I'm super, super happy to be bringing you guys my personal review of Outspoken Party by Fergie. So this is the fourth spinoff in the Outspoken line, and Fergie's perfumes are presented through Avon. Um, I have had this perfume for quite a little while, but I've been holding off on doing the review until I did my swap with my friend Lukey Hilton. I will link his Twitter down below. Uh, me and him did a little bit of a swap. He gave, sent me um, the like UK slash international bottle of this, which is actually the ad that's back there. Um, so when I wanted to do the review, I wanted to be able to give you guys both bottles and show you both bottles because there's a difference in both bottles. So the one he sent me is this one, if I can turn around the right way. Looks like this and it says Outspoken Party by Fergie down here and it's kind of got this gold bronzy um, swoop on it. Goes up to the cap, looks like that. Caps come off like that. Um, and then the American International version that we have, American version we have here just says Outspoken Party by Fergie. Purple liquid, clear bottle. Um, shows, see, clear blue. And then gold, rose gold bronzy sprayer. So, everything to do with these fragrances is the same, except for the fact that this bottle doesn't show, like, this bottle has the bronzy base, and this one doesn't. Um, I do prefer this one, I just feel like this one looks more finished um, than this one, even though this one does kind of tie a little bit better to the other um, ones in the line, I guess. The boxes are a little bit different. Let's see if I mix these up. Okay, so this is the American version of the box. So it says Outspoken Party by Fergie here. And then it says Eau de Parfum Spray, Eau de Parfum, a vaporizer, fragrance, a spray, Parla Ella, uh, 50 mil, looks like this. And then the non-American version just says Eau de Parfum on the bottom. And looks like this. The only real difference, they both say Avon on top. I'm sorry if this lighting is terrible. Um, but the only really big difference I've noticed is one's a little bit thicker than the other, and one's a little bit wider than the other. I don't know if you guys can even, like, I'm holding them side by side, and there is, like, a gap in between them. Like, try to line these up on the back and show you guys that there's, like, a little bit of a gap on one of them. Um, otherwise, this one has, like the lines like here go all the way around the box and they go on the back here um the, I, they are there they're not as noticeable and they kind of i mean if i can get my light to shine they're like they are here and then they kind of fade out and they're really kind of hard to see um this box is just prettier in my opinion so that's just my opinion on it and it, this one has more gold glitter than this one. So, there's that. And then I got the lotion for it as well. Looks like this says Outspoken Party by Fergie. And it says just body lotion and then body lotion in another language. So, the only thing is liquid. Like, it's very liquidy. Um, so, notes for this fragrance are listed on the back of the box on the American version. And they say an electrifying mix of fiery peony, luscious red raspberry, sensual sandalwood that makes up a life, makes you the life of the party at night. Or all night, sorry. So, when you first spray this, I do get the raspberry a little bit. Um, I mostly am getting the peony and the sandalwood mixed with almost another creamy musk note in there. Um, this perfume does remind me of things like Jessica Simpson's Fancy Love and Taylor Swift's Taylor by Taylor. Um, they're both, they're all kind of, they're all three kind of very similar in that kind of like berry-esque, powdery, white, floral, woody dry down. Um, I will say out of the three, this one is more fruity. Um, because of that red raspberry on the top. I do really like this one. 
Um, I still feel like Jessica Simpson's Fancy Love will still always be my favorite, mainly because it was the original of the Three Cents. Um, not dissing Taylor at all, because you guys know I love her. But I just feel like Jessica's was the original. Jessica's is more of a true white floral. Um, Taylor's is a little bit more of like an apricot -y, and this is more of a berry-ish. So if you don't like one or the other for, if you like them but they're not quite you, try the other two. I do really like this one. It is, um, my favorite out of the, th uh, four Outspokens, followed by Outspoken Intense, Outspoken Fresh, and then Outspoken. Um, I do like this one. Lasting Power, it does last about eight hours on me, almost nine hours. Um, I do notice it kind of drifting down, and depending on how I'm wearing it and where I'm wearing it, it lasts about eight hours on me. I definitely would say this is more of a spring nighttime scent, um but more of like a daytime summer sense, if that makes any sense. Like, I feel like it would be better in the springtime, nighttime, but I feel like it'd be better during the hot summer days. Um, but it is kind of seductive a little bit, so that's why I feel like it also could be a night fragrance, and I do get the party aspect to it, but I still feel like it's very light and feminine and personal. So, there you guys go. There is my review of uh, outspoken party by Fergie. As always, thanks so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, A the S Perfume, and Instagram, Among the Stars Perfume. Links are in the description below. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Bye.